Hey, what's going on everybody? Melodic Mike back with another video. I was asked to do a Valentine's Day video and you know, I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, why not? Um, and then coincidentally, my friend, she gave me a Valentine's Day and I wanted to share it with you guys. I thought it was kind of cute. Um, and hopefully this will be my thumbnail, but check this out. Bam, thumbnail. All right, so it says, could you please step away from the bar? You're melting the ice. Happy Valentine's Day, partner. Um, thought it was cute. You know, I wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully this will become my thumbnail. Boom. All right, cool. Now on with the rest of the video. Uh, right off the top, I uh, just want to say much love from Melodic Mike. I uh, wanted to say to all the Olympians competing in the Winter Games up in Vancouver, uh, from Melodic Mike to all you guys, you guys have been you know struggling and grinding for the last four years and all your time and effort and energy, now it's your time to shine. So good luck to all you up there competing in Vancouver. Uh, best of luck to the United States. Yeah. And we'll see how it goes. All right. So Malak Mike saying much love to all you guys. Good luck. Um, as for Valentine's Day, so here's my opinion. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Valentine's Day. Okay, let's just say I'm not a fan of Valentine's Day. Uh, I just don't believe that it should take one day out of the year where you need to show your love and your gratitude um, to your significant other. You know, if you look back in a couple of videos, I talked about showing appreciation, doing little gifts here and there to. Um, show that you care for someone throughout the year you know I just don't believe this commercial holiday where they jack up the prices on flowers candy and teddy bears um, and expect you to go out on this day to buy all this and to show your gratitude and your love for your significant other yeah not my thing and some of you guys might be asking am I single yeah I'm single but even when I was in a relationship I never celebrated it wasn't a big thing for me and it probably Probably won't. It won't change my mind. But hey, who knows, you know? Um, so that's my take. Let me know what you guys think. For all you guys in a relationship, much love to you guys. You know, celebrate. Be safe. Um, and yeah. Uh, but let me know what you guys do. You know, I always wonder what people do to celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, on to the topic. So I was talking to a few of my girlfriends and I realized that a lot of things uh, came about. And I thought this would be perfect time for me to, to talk to you ladies. Um, ladies, listen up. I know, I know us guys, we do this a little bit. We don't do it as in-depth as you do. But I'm going to go ahead and focus to the ladies. Look, if you are a lady who's single and is looking for that man, your special guy, your perfect guy, and you have this like checklist that most girls do, look, I understand... All, everybody has their morals and their standards of what type of guy they want. But when I say checklist, I mean like, look, has to be a certain height, check. He has to have dark hair, check. A certain color eyes, check. You know, has to make this much money, check. Um, and the list just goes on and on and on. Um, dude, get rid of that stuff. It's honestly, like, you need to stop thinking about your checklist. This is where you're going to ruin yourself, all right? For instance, what if a guy who's just cute came into your life, right, and he makes you laugh to the point where you're crying. He allows you to be vulnerable and be comfortable with it. He takes care of you when you're sick or he accepts you for all your flaws. And that's a hard thing to do. We all have flaws. We always want someone to, um, to accept this for, for us, right? Now, why don't you find that type of guy? Uh, I'm not saying, like, look, look, attraction, you know, physical attraction isn't a big deal. It is. But remember, guys can always work out to work on their physique, you know. Um, there's plastic surgery. There's Botox. There's certain things you can do to alter the way you look. But the genuine sincerity of a man is innate. That's just who he is, you know. And, and you don't find a lot of a lot of people like that that come come across your path so ladies pay attention um imagine this you meet a guy who's perfect you think he's perfect he's he's the man of your dreams and he he just when you guys go out it just feels as though it's just you two you know everybody's around you they see it like oh man you guys make such a cute couple i'm surprised you guys aren't together and so you guys hang out and, and then you wonder well why are we together right and then he start saying well you're not as tall as I would like in a girl or you don't you know I go for blonde hair blue eyes and you may have dark hair dark eyes um, how does that make you feel you know like flip the script 
You know, imagine a guy putting a checklist on you. It's like, that sucks, doesn't it? Well, that's how we feel too. So, ladies, get rid of your list. Look, it hasn't worked for you thus far if you're single. Um, so be flexible, you know? Like, the guy of your dreams could be out there, and maybe he doesn't fit your whole criteria. Well, hey, he makes you feel good. He makes you feel loved. Dude, give it a shot. Why not, right? Let me know what you guys think because I thought this was great. When I was, I, when I was talking to my girlfriends, I felt as though a lot of them had like this structured pattern um, and checklist. And I realized like, dude, you guys are all single for a reason. Like you guys have this list that you can't fulfill, but you have great men around you. You know, dang, take advantage of that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Mike at gmail.com or answer back here, please. Um, I thought this was awesome. So ladies, think about it. Let it swish in your brain. All right. Um, I do have an announcement. All right. So like I, I've been mentioning for the past videos, I've been working on a couple projects. So I will let you guys know on one thing that I'm working on. Um, so check this out. Throughout my life, I've always written thoughts down, you know, and then from there I put it in a form of poetry. Um, I could share, I wanted to share my thoughts and perspective to more people um, and just see how I could do so. So my buddy Risk told me, hey, why don't you put it with music? And I was like, dang, I never thought about that. Well, I thought about it, but it really didn't dawn on me how I was gonna do that. Well, that's what I'm working on. When you guys get the chance, please go to myspace.com slash music by Melodic Mike. I, I started to put my words with music and I'm slowly, you know, I have three tracks that I collaborated with Riss. Um, you know, he took a shot with me. He's all like, hey, let's do it. Let's, let's just get you in the booth and, and see what you got. And so I've been at this for less than six months um, and just getting my feet wet and getting comfortable behind the microphone and, and stuff like that. I'm really excited, as you can tell, um, to actually announce this to you guys that, you know, I'm, I'm starting to make music, starting to put together some tracks. Um, so when you get the chance, please, myspace.com backslash or forward slash, whatever it is, uh, music by Melodic Mike. Um, listen to them. You'll, you can definitely see my progression as a lyricist and the way I write um, and the way I deliver my message. Uh, I think some of my friends I've listened to and they're like, wow, the progression has come really fast in the last um, six months. So please take a listen to it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just starting. I'm having a good time with it. It's very therapeutic for me. And yeah, so um, with all your love and support, hopefully I, you know, I'm going to work hard on my craft and, and produce more music, all right? So please check it out. Um, I want to jump in also mention one last thing. Go Team Andrew Garcia. If you are not an American Idol fan, which I'm not, um, but I started watching just because Andrew Garcia. I'm a big fan of his. I want you guys to take a look at him, take a listen. The man is has a dope dope voice um, and I think he can make it really far in this competition let alone win it um, if he doesn't win it dude I'm, he should get a record deal like that all right so wanna holler at Andrew Garcia great job bro keep up the good work um, and to team Andrew Garcia that's out there you know I'm on the team I'm on the bandwagon I got a couple friends not a couple but a bunch of friends now who are jumping on the bandwagon slowly because I'm starting to expose them to Andrew Garcia but uh, Melodic Mike, much love to Andrew Garcia. Keep it up. So on that note, got my music going. Follow Andrew Garcia on American Idol. And to all the Olympians, good luck in the Winter Games. Um, so stay blessed. Happy Valentine's Day. Be safe. Wrap it up if you do anything. Um, but uh, enjoy yourself. And I will be back soon. So take care.